Hey guys, my name is Akazawa and I welcome you to another episode of my How to Build a Redstone ALU tutorial. In the last episode we talked about the memory handling for our two internal memory cells right there. And in this episode we're going to take the output from those memory cells and I use those yellow and green lines for that. Split the outputs up um, out into two separate output lines. Um, split them up bit by bit and let them be the inputs for this huge array of full adders. And you guys can easily see it's far more spread out than it actually needs to be. You can easily build this in like quarter the size, probably even smaller. But I built it that very sch uh, s schematic way so you guys can best understand what is going on here. And let's talk about what a full adder is. I'm not going to explain all the logic gates in detail. That would kind of take too long for this tutorial. I will just explain what the adder basically does. And the design I used here was by Nefashu. And I used it because you can, if you have a detailed look at the logic gates after you download the world or something like that, you can actually understand how the adder does it. But anyway, what it does is it takes three input lines, A, B and C, and calculates two outputs, C and S, from them. And the output S will only be on when one or three of the inputs are turned on, and the output C will only be on if two or three of the inputs are turned on. So for zero inputs only. Um, for zero inputs, no output line is turned on. For one input, only output S. For two inputs, only output C. And for three inputs, both outputs will be on. And let's talk about how to do an um, adder array. And you basically do one by starting out with the first bits. So the green line and the yellow line connect to the first bits of those two memory cells there and the first adder bit does not get an input C and the output C from this adder then goes into the input C from the next adder bit and the sum bit of the first adder goes into the first bit of the output line. The sum bit of the second um, adder goes into the second bit of the output line and the C out of the second adder goes into the the C in of the third adder and so on and so on and on the last adder the output C is just dropped um, and you can use that to subtract um, numbers and subtraction is the addition of the inverse plus one just so you know how to do that and all those output bits then connect to the simple output line which works exactly the same way as the output lines for the memory cells so I did a calculation and all these signals are already um, down here and already calculated and I just need to route them through to our main memory cell. So let's actually go ahead and calculate something like for example 6 and let's draw that into memory cell 1 plus 4 no, now it's 6 plus 2, which is... Yeah, let, let's add 6 plus 2. And let's draw that into memory cell 2. And you guys can now see the adder at work down here. It will change bit by bit because, of course, the carry out has to travel all along those lines here. And if I now go ahead and press this button right here, our memory cell will of course reset first and after that will receive change inputs for only the bit 8 and that is exactly the solution of our um, calculation 6 plus 2. You should have a more detailed look into those adders before you start. Um, I suggest downloading the world or looking at the wiki page how those adders work and then try to arrange them in a way smaller array than that. That was just so I could 
take the out, uh, C output lines and input lines in the most simple to understand way and I don't have to fly all across and underneath some weird um, going buses from input lines coming into those adders. And yeah, I hope you guys were able to understand how the ad adder worked. Um, this is probably the uh, most difficult part of the whole ALU but I think it's still not that difficult if you um, actually got an adder design which is quite small at your hand. I have never created an adder design myself but I'm aware of how those work and I think that's absolutely fine because there are people who just created ridiculously small adder designs and no I would normally use those but those worked fine for explanation purposes. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please leave a comment, rate or subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next episode. Bye.